So these Ravens never resting, right? So team keep it clean. What's going on? St. Raven here with another video. Real quick update before we get into things. Uh, we were actually able to submit the reapplication for monetization with YouTube uh, around 1.15 p.m. today. So about like 45 minutes ago, probably when you're seeing this, it will have been an hour ago. Um, but we were able to get that started. They did say it could take up to 30 days. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. I don't think it will take that long, but you know, YouTube, I can't put nothing past them. Um, but anyway, that is a uh, positive news uh, as opposed to how things started off this morning. So I just had to update y'all on that. And y'all, because y'all know I'm going to keep y'all posted, man. I'm going to keep y'all posted good or bad. Hopefully it's just all good from now. Uh, but we'll see how things go. So I, I appreciate y'all looking out. Anybody that checked in and asked about how things were going with that, I appreciate it. I love y'all. So. Um, somebody who I know a lot of team keep it clean loves is DeAndre Hopkins and a lot of team keep it clean would love it even more if DeAndre Hopkins became a Baltimore Raven and a lot of us have been wondering like what's the status of DeAndre Hopkins we've been hearing that his interest is heating up a lot more teams get more interested in him the talks are going crazy right now and this thing is only a matter of time before DeAndre Hopkins is moved um, and a lot of us wondered are the Ravens one of the teams that are interested in him and apparently they are Pac-Man Jones, who was on the Pat McAfee show. Um, he said that the, the five teams that are interested in DeAndre Hopkins, uh, the Bills, the Patriots, the Raiders, the Falcons and the Baltimore Ravens are all interested in DeAndre Hopkins. So I know when a lot of Ravens fans saw that they got hyped, they got excited, as you should, because it's like, hold up, like all Ravens are still interested in DeAndre Hopkins. We've been watching all these wide receivers come off the market and we've been watching them get signed and, and traded for and whatnot. Uh, but the Ravens have just been quiet. And, and they haven't been adding any outside help. And the only thing that they've talked about, publicly at least, at wide receiver was Nelson Aguilar because they had him in for a visit. But with them being interested in DeAndre Hopkins, a true number one wide receiver, a receiver that's like that, that would be a beautiful acquisition. But, <laughs> oh, you know there had to be a butt in here and a big butt at that. Aaron Wilson. <laughs> My dog Aaron Wilson said, look, man, I used to cover the Ravens back uh, in the day, I think for the Baltimore Sun, and I got love for them, but I got to kill a lot of these Ravens fans' dreams, man, because I don't want to see them happy. Now, he ain't say all that, but it felt like it when you saw this update. He said, Cardinals wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins trade market is headlined by the Bills, per NFL sources. And you know what's funny? I know a lot of y'all saw on Instagram last night, DeAndre Hopkins, uh, he updated his story, and he put the song, Buffalo Soldier. And a lot of people were thinking like, oh, yeah, he headed to Buffalo. Ooh, that would be something, too. Josh Allen with DeAndre Hopkins and Stephon. Ooh. Mm. And then Gabe Davis says their third receiver. They just got rid of Isaiah McKenzie. But, man, that would be filthy. Filthy. And then they just signed the... um. They ju they just signed the receiver, I think Trent Sher Sherfield from the Dolphins. I think it, I know his last name is Sherfield. I forget his first name, but he's not he's straight too. So it's like, ooh, <laughs> hey, we'll see though. We it ain't it ain't gonna be official till it's official. But anyway. Uh, back to the report from Aaron Wilson. He said, Cardinals uh, DeAndre Hopkins trade market is headlined by the Bills per NFL sources. Five-time Pro Bowl selection has plenty of interest on the trade market, but it goes that but. See, the part about the Bills, that wasn't even the but. I mean, I guess that's one cheek on the but, but let's get to the other cheek. But financial expectations might impact any further interest <laughs> from the Chiefs and Ravens. Hmm. Not among bidders, per sources. <laughs> Ooh, that's painful. That's tough. And again, it, it ain't over till it's over, until we see something official. But he just letting it be known like, hey, <laughs> Ravens, <laughs> don't count on it. And I, I know a, a lot of us have been hoping for it. But when you think about it, like it's – it would be so unlike the Ravens to trade for somebody like a DeAndre Hopkins. We would love for them to, but it just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. We still hope that they do, 
but it just doesn't seem likely. So we'll see. <laughs> Keep hope alive, right? Anyway, um, in other news, and this one, like, initially I was a little bit surprised, but then I was like, oh, hold up now. Nah, no surprises there. But no, nah, still I'm surprised. It says, um, this was from Jordan Schultz, said, uh, source, Packers free agent safety, Adrian Amos, uh, who has 10 career picks, is visiting the Ravens today. Baltimore traded Chuck Clark earlier this month. And I was like, oh, okay. I guess the more the merrier. They got so used to having, what, four, five, 18 safeties on the team. I guess they say, you know what, let's run it back. Because last year was Chuck Clark, Marcus Williams, Kyle Hamilton, Geno Stone, Darius Washington. Um, I mean, Brandon Stevens, he's like cornerback, safety, he, he wherever you need him to be. Um, but they, they had a lot of safeties. And, and I felt like, I thought that this year it was going to be Marcus Williams, obviously. Kyle Hamilton in the same or even an expanded role. Geno Stone in an expanded role. But I thought they would just leave it at that. But with them bringing in Adrian Amos, who, who's from Baltimore, by the way. Um, <laughs> I saw somebody say, like, oh, yeah, he's he from Baltimore. He ain't going nowhere. They, 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 they ain't letting him leave. He, he going to sign for sure. But we'll see. But um, with them bringing him in, it could be just one of those, hey, we're just checking our boxes. Because, you know, Ra Ravens do that a lot. They do that. We're just doing our due diligence. Yeah. But at the same time, this is a defensive player. So I could definitely see the Ravens making that move and making it official sooner rather than later. The market for a lot of free agents is definitely quieted down uh, over this past week. Um, and you know what? This free agency period, it, it wasn't nearly as crazy as it normally is. Just wasn't. Um, the, 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 the deals that have been being given out, they just, they ain't been as crazy as, as the norm. I'm used to a lot more insane stuff. Insane, like last, last year set the world on fire the way that that thing was going. But this year has been a lot more calm, cool, and, and collected. Um, so that's that, but yeah, so I the Ravens <laughs> maybe Ravens they gonna mess around and have some four safety sets because you, you know they're gonna have they're they gonna have a four tight end and five tight end sets on offense. They're gonna mess around and do the same thing with safeties on defense, they're gonna have all them safeties out there on the field at the same time. But hey, whatever works, right? Anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And again, hopefully we can get good news with this whole YouTube thing sooner rather than later. But hey, as long as we get that good news, that's all that matters. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We out.